Hi, kumusta? Welcome back to our channel. Kung saan sa channel nito ang nakapit na yasin ay napakisipis na tayo. Hello, magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Uh, welcome sa aking channel. At meron na naman tayong bagong pag-uusapan sa ngayon. At ito yung isa sa mga excited akong i-discuss. <laughs> dahil ito yung nag-iisang equation nag-iisa nga lang ba pero ito yung pinaka basic na equation natin sa accounting at walang iba kung hindi yung tinatawag natin na accounting equation okay so please uh, bear with me as we discuss this topic in detail dahil ito yung pinaka foundation ninyo especially that on episode 10 pinag-usapan natin yung elements of the financial statements so, mag-recap muna tayo ng konti doon sa episode 10 para lang balikan natin ano-ano nga ba yung mga elements of your financial statements. Um, remember that meron tayong 5 general classifications of your elements. Um, we have the assets, we have the liabilities, and we have the equity. These 3 elements form part of your balance sheet. Although, hindi pa naman natin tinatakil yung uh, basic financial statements, pero sa mga susunod na uh, episodes natin, pag-uusapan natin ito. Now, whereas, yung 4th and 5th, yung income and expenses, ito naman ay mag-form part ng iyong tinatawag na income statement. O kaya, uh, tawag din kasi natin dito is your profit or loss statement or your statement of financial performance. Kasi ito yung nagiging result of your operations. But we will have to discuss it in details sa mga susunod na episodes. Now, as you go along your basic uh, counting subject, you will get to know that your income and expenses are eventually transferred to sa equity section. Kaya usually, uh, kaya, sa, kaya sa ating accounting equation, makikita nyo lang ay tatlong elements which is your assets, liabilities, and equity. Pero I'd like to note pala ano, kasi nung episode 10, nung dinefine ko yung mga elements, ang term na ginamit ko is your asset, liabilities, equity, income, and expenses. Yung ibang instructors kasi or yung ibang mga professors, maaring yung equity ang ginagamit nila na term dito ay capital. O kaya naman pagdating doon sa income, ang ginagamit nila na term ay revenue. Okay? Actually, um, hindi naman siya mali. Pero ang reason kaya ang ginagamit ko ay equity for their capital and yung income naman for your um, revenue kasi ay ang following the conceptual framework kung papaano ito kinaklasify or kinakategorize or define sa ating conceptual framework. Now, there is a relationship between these elements and this relationship can be defined by a simple equation which is where asset equals liabilities plus equity. Now, your accounting equation also explains the duality of business transactions. Ano ibig sabihin natin ng duality? Ang sinasabi lang ng duality ano, of business transactions is that for every trans, uh, accountable transaction, at least two accounts must be affected. But in any case, the equation must always be equal. That is, the left side of the equation must always equal the right side of the equation. Now, kung ang equation natin ay simply lang na assets equals liabilities plus equity, okay, Huwag kayong masyadong magpaka-kampante. Ay, basic lang naman pala. Kasi, however basic it is, when in terms of uh, interpretation of the transactions or analysis of the transactions, baka doon tayo magkaroon ng problema. So, kaya crucial din na maintindihan ninyo yung mga accounts, specific account types, and ano yung nature ng kanilang transactions para may i-assess natin, may i-categorize natin sila sa tamang elements of your financial statements. Oh, going back doon sa ating simple illustration na, no, na kung meron akong 100 assets, either 40 doon ay liabilities and 60 naman doon ay equity. 
O in any case, dapat palagi siyang equal. Hindi pwede na sobra yung assets mo. Tapos yung liabilities at equity combined ay kulang. Uh, doon sa mga nakaka-relate na, dito na kayo nagkakaroon ng problema na, Sir, Ma'am, hindi bangga. <laughs> Kasi, merong uh, some, somewhere along your analysis ng mga transactions, either nagkulang ka ng specific amount, meron kang hindi na i-recognize, or mali ang iyong na i-recognize, kaya hindi siya bumabangga. <laughs> O oh, again, assets equals liabilities plus equity. Now, minsan, uh, you have to fill in the blanks and pwede mong laruin itong accounting equation. So, kung halimbawa, given yung assets, given yung liabilities, how will you arrive at the capital or the equity account? You simply subtract the liabilities from your assets. Thus, assets minus liabilities equals equity. Or, on the other hand naman, kung ang hinahanap naman sa'yo ay yung liability portion, or you simply subtract the equity amount doon sa total assets mo. Kaya, meron naman tayong asset minus equity equals liabilities. But in any case, dapat ano, yung equation mo ay nasusundan. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. Hindi pwede na liabilities minus or less equity. Pagdating doon, baka magkamali ka na. So, maiiba na yung sagot mo. Okay? So, be careful with the accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. Now, sa pagde-define ko ng accounting, meron akong term na ginagamit, na nagamit. At kung napansin ninyo, meron akong sinasabi na account. Okay? But what really is an account? in accounting parlance or in accounting transactions. Now, pag sinasabi kasi natin na account, or follow me on the slides, it is a basic summary device. Okay? Maintained for each element of your financial statements. So, ibig sabihin, an account is maintained for each element. Kung, let's say, sa, sa transactions mo, sa records mo, meron kang 10 assets, you have to maintain 10 accounts. Kung meron kang limang klase ng mga liabilities, you also have to maintain to maintain limang accounts, so on and so forth. So, it is maintained because it records the movement of your accounts, yung additions and deductions. So, kung halimbawa, uh, let's say sa asset, meron akong cash account. So, ano ang makikita ko sa account ko? Ito yung mga additional cash resources. And then kung meron ako mga payments o may mga binayaran ako, I can see in my account, in my cash account, that it is reduced or it is deducted. So again, it records the movement of each account, yung mga additions nito, and its deduction. Now sa accounting, ang pinaka-basic summary device na ginagamit natin is your key account. Okay? And kaya natin na ito tinawag na T account because it resembles the letter T. Although kapag sa actual transactions sa mga business, electronic naman kasi, they maintain separate ledgers, separate na uh, accounts, hindi na tayo nagmamanual. But for classroom purposes, for classroom discussion, okay, we use the T account. And makikita mo sa T account na meron kang left side and meron kang right side. Now, we will introduce to you today yung terms na debit and credit. Kasi makikita mo yung left side, it represents the debits. Tapos yung right side naman, represents your credit. And normally, on top of your letter T, uh, of your accounts, naka-identify doon, ano yung account title. Okay? But you will notice that the T account also resembles the accounting equation. Na kung ano yung nasa left, dapat should always equal yung nasa right side mo. Plus yung assets equals liabilities plus equity ano, na accounting equation. And since we are talking of accounting equation, let's relate the equation to your T account. Okay, assuming that the left side is your asset side and the right side represents your liabilities and your equity section. Now, in terms of normal balances, 
doon mo malalaman kung bakit yung assets, ang normal balance niya ay debit at yung liabilities and equity naman, ang normal balance nito ay credit. Okay. Sir, question. Papaano naman po ang income and expenses? Okay. Now, based on the definition of your income and expenses, your income mirrors your equity account. And yung expenses naman is the opposite of your equity movement. So, ibig sabihin, ang normal balance ng income mo ay what? Debit or credit? Okay. That is credit because it mirrors your equity account. Whereas, yung expense accounts naman will have a debit normal balance. But, some of the topics I will have to discuss in detail sa susunod ng mga episodes. Okay? Now, take for example, I have two types of accounts. And let me just call it account 1 and account 2. So, kung ang account 1 ay merong a certain amount, let's say, si Philippine Peso XXX, kung nasa nasa uh, debit side siya or nasa left side siya. Meron, because of the duality of your business transactions, dapat meron siyang kabangga na account or may katapat siya na account because it affects at least two accounts. So, kung si account 2 yung affected nito, dapat naman nasa credit side niya or nasa right side niya yung Philippine XXX, peso XXX. So, that kapag tinali natin ito, yung total debit ko must always equal your total credit. Kaya ano, sa mga advanced uh, basic accounting discussions natin, pag pinag-usapan na natin yung mga preparation of your trial balance, tinatali na natin lahat ng total debits, then tinatali naman natin lahat ng total credits, at dapat ma-insure natin na balance yun. Okay? So, there you have it. Uh, now, begin natin ng sample with figures. Okay? Take for instance, I have four types of uh, accounts. I have the cash, the inventories, the accounts payable, and the owner's equity. Okay, may paliwanag ko lang muna ang nature ng mga accounts na ito. Pag sinabi natin cash, kailangan ko pa bang ipaliwanag? This is your money. This, ito yung pera mo. Okay? So, yun, yun lang ang cash account. Now, yung inventories account naman, it depends on the nature of the business. Kung merchandising, ito yung binili mo para ibenta mo. No? Okay. Simplihan lang natin, kunwari merchandising tayo, trading business. I have these inventories. Ito yung mga binili ko para ibenta ko eventually. Okay? Then, we have the accounts payable. Ano yung accounts payable? Kapag meron kang mga pinag-uutangan, let's say, bumili ka sa supplier ng inventory mo, pero hindi pa ito bayad, then we classify is we tag it as accounts payable. And then, we have the owner's equity ito yung owner's worth okay yung residual interest mo after deducting uh, liabilities from your assets okay assuming i have on my first uh, transaction para makapag-umpisa ng negosyo yung may-ari nag-invest ng 50,000 pesos okay ano ang gagawin ko so again we have the, the duality of business transactions Okay, oh, sa ibang mga libro, ma-encounter ninyo yung tinatawag natin na double entry okay, oh, system of accounting. So, kung nagpasok ka ng 50,000 sa business, you have a debit na meron kang cash account. Nagkalaman yung cash mo ng 50,000. And since nanggaling ito sa bulsa ng may ari sa owner, nagkaroon tayo ng equity. Ay, nagkaroon tayo ng capital. And ito naman ay nasa right side. So, notice that we have a left um, side, yung 50,000 na nasa cash, and then we have on the right side naman, or on the credit side naman, 50,000, pero nandoon sa owner's equity. Pero pag tinotal mo silang lahat, bangga pa rin siya. 50,000 equals 50,000. So there you have our first example. Now, assuming we have on the second example, that the business purchased on account or on credit inventory is worth 10,000. Oh, emphasize ko lang yung term purchased on account or purchased on credit. Pag sinabi natin purchased on account 
or purchase on credit, bumili ka pero utang muna. Hindi mo agad siya binayaran in cash. Okay? Kaya natin siya tinatawag na ganun. And well, dito sa ating example, wala naman tayong ibang account dito. Kung hindi, yung accounts payable. Pero saan siya magpo-fall? So, madadagdagan ng 10,000 yung inventory account mo. Which is, since it is asset, ang normal balance niya ay nasa left side. And then, magkakaroon ka naman ng accounts payable na 10,000. And since it is a liability, ang normal balance nito ay 10,000. So, pag sina, sin, sinummarize mo ito, assuming ito lang yung transactions natin for the period, so how much is your total assets? You have your cash and your inventories. 50 plus 10 equals 60. How much is your liability? You only have your accounts payable of 10,000. And your equity naman, you have 50,000. So, 10 plus 50 is 60. Thus, you have assets 60,000 equals liability of 10 plus equity of 50,000. Okay. Now, napansin ninyo, nagkaroon ako ng uh, number 1, naka-parenthesis and number 2, naka-parenthesis. It represents my transactions. Although, sa ibang mga discussions ninyo sa school, maaaring ito, ang katumbas nito ay petsa kung kailan yung date of transaction. It depends on your professor or on your instructor. Pwedeng per item, kasi minsan yung question, yung problem sa mga libro, hindi naka-petsa kung hindi naka-itemized. So, pwedeng number, numerical, or pwedeng on that per day. So, that's our example defining yung accounting equation and providing an illustration on your T-accounts. So, recap lang tayo for this session. Pinag-usapan natin yung accounting equation, which is your assets equals liabilities plus equity. And with defining it, in-introduce din natin yung T-account. The left side and right side of the account. We will have to discuss this in detail sa mga susunod. And we will give you more natures and types of your transactions. Kasi meron tayong sham na klase ng transactions na affecting yung accounting equation mo. Pwedeng ganito, pwedeng ganyan, pwedeng ganoon. So, abangan ninyo, stay tuned doon sa susunod ko na uh, video patungkol doon sa mga types and natures of your transactions. Pero para man mo notify ka, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel para updated kayo kapag may bago akong upload. So, maraming salamat for listening, for attending my uh, video sessions. I'll see you around on the next episodes. Bye-bye!